Okay, so this poem is about a painted hawk. It's about a painting. It's sort of a, a little subgenre of poems that you always come across in the collections of a, a poem about a hawk. And of course, if you've been to a museum in China, you will have seen the paintings and you will have seen the little poems that are often written uh, next to the poem and appended to the poem by its various owners and appreciators. So this is a poem about a painting. The last poem was about an actual horse. This is about a, an, an imaginary hawk. Hua Ying. And it's also a, a regulated verse. Eighth line. Shu Fu Fu Wu. Actually, I mean, I don't know about this one, actually. It, it seems like with the parallelism, everything is good. This Wu. Well, the tone seems to be off, but um, I don't know if, if it's my memory that fails me. Perhaps this is actually it's actually pronounced Wu with the second tone. All right, enough about that. Let's go into this. Su Lian Feng Shuang Qi, Cang Ying Hua Zuo Shu. Su Lian, the plain white silk. Lian is a, a type of silk. And Su Lian is the white silk that's used for painting on. Many paintings, of course, were painted on silk. Feng Shuang Qi, frost and wind, or windy frost rises. Uh, this is not uh, supposed to mean, as this is not a description of the whiteness of the silk. I don't th think that would be uh, wrong. I think that it's... it's uh, it's a metaphor for the whole air about the bird that's depicted in the painting. It has a sort of frosty air about it, a windy and frosty air about it. When you look at it, it feels like the wind and the frost enters your bones almost. And here we have Cang Ying Hua Zuo Shu. Sorry. Cang Ying, grey hawk, yes, or a black hawk. That's not so important. Hua Zuo Shu. Shu, wondrously done, yes. Shu means extraordinary. Chu se de, chu se de, chu se de hua zuo. Hua zuo is, is a sort of um, a type of a word. It, it, you, you should uh, understand it as sort of the work of painting. Uh, like, a little bit like gong zuo. And there's also the, the word geng zuo. That is uh, the work of... Um, Plowing and uh, agriculture. The hua zuo is the the, the 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 level of skill, which is here. Chu se de, wonderful. Shu hua zuo shu, cang yin hua zuo shu. Here we have. I'm I'm sorry about this. This uh, character here. You can understand that it's rare when it's not even in the character set for this wonderful, or at least nice. Um, font that I'm using for this series. Uh, this ca this character is pronounced song. And it means basically the same thing as two other song characters that look a little bit different. That the one that you have in like song song yi xia jian bang uh, or uh, wei yan song ting. These words, one with a in in. Um, yes, I don't have to describe them for you. This uh, it means uh, standing up on one's feet with the neck stretched out. So this is the position of the hawk in the painting. It perks up its body, longing for the crafty hair. The crafty hair, this jiao tu, is sort of a fixed epithet for a rabbit. It sounds rather strange with a, for a hare or a rabbit to be crafty. It's a, an adjective that I sort of personally attach more to for example, foxes, but jiao tu is, is frequent in classical Chinese. It longs for the crafty hair. Ce mu si chou hu. Here we have it again. A melancholy hu. A melancholy barbarian. That is the proper translation, I must say. Looking sidelong, it looks like a melancholy barbarian. Why a melancholy barbarian? Well, it is a, actually a phrase, this chou hu, that, that it's, it occurs in, in earlier literature. Mm, here it's perhaps on account of the color of the bird's eyes. I don't know. 
who that look on this bird's eyes when it's looking sidelong makes Dufu think of a melancholy barbarian. Yes. Well, well, well why not? We'll have to imagine that for ourselves, what that might look like. Strange characters here. Tao Xuan Guang Kan Jai Xuan Ying Shi Ke Hu. Tao Xuan. So Tao, this I had, I, I had to uh, look this up. Tao is a rope of silk. And so it's obviously here it's used to tie the bird, which means that we understand this is a, a tame bird, a bird used for hunting, presumably. And Tao Xuan. Xuan is a, a tie ring, it says here. Yes, it's some kind of metal implement that's used to fasten this this uh, rope. That's how we have to understand it. And the, the light on this ring, Tao Xuan Guang Kan Jai. I love this. It's a Kan Jai. Is, you, you could pinch it. You could pick it off. This is a, a, a type of expression that's used in some other... Uh, context in Chinese as well. You have, for example, this um, when you say about a person's smile, it's really that the smile is all over their face. You say "xiao rong ke ju." It's that if you could hold the smile in your hands, and of course, if you uh, if there's a detail on this painting where the sort of light seems to stick out, it seems almost not to be a part of the painting, and it's like you could stretch out your hand and pick it off. Well, that's what it means here. Tao xuan guang kan jai. Xuan Ying Shi Ke Hu. Xuan Ying, it says on the porch. Yes, Xuan. Um, there are the, the pillars in front of a house. So, yes, the porch. This probably has to refer to the background of the painting. You see it on the porch, and perhaps there's a house in the background or a porch in the background. And Shi Ke Hu. Its stands can be summoned. That's a strange construction in, in English. Of course, this is the stands. It's Shi, its position. It's in a position as if to be called into action, then, presumably. Shi Ke Hu, you can summon it. It's there and it's ready. It's really ready for you. It's gleaming with this light and it lo longs for the hair and its expression is as a sad barbarian, perhaps, who is not allowed to pillage and murder. I don't know, I don't know if that's how, to, how we have to understand Du Fu here. Tao Xuan Guang Kan Jai Xuan Ying Shi Ke Hu. Last couplet. He dang ji fan yao, mao xue sa ping wu. When will it strike the common birds? He dang ji fan yao. He dang means when. It's it's a, an expression in itself. It's not when will. He dang is like he shi. It's a commonplace. When. Mao xue sa ping wu. Yes. Sprinkling feathers or yes, hair, feathers perhaps, feathers and blood sprinkled in the weeds of the plain. Ping, yes, nice little poem actually, I must say. All of it is here, and thank you for watching.